it is amazing to me the kinds of things that are said in response to the question I'm about to ask, namely, can God's design to exalt himself, to magnify his righteousness, to uphold his glory, to vindicate his justice, be love? Because in the secular mindset, and so many Christian heads, that emphasis doesn't sound loving. God's self-exaltation doesn't sound loving. Now, let me give you an illustration from 10 weeks ago on NPR. Fresh Air, Terry Gross, interviewing Eric Reese, who has written a book entitled An American Gospel. She asked a very pointed question. She obviously had read the book, and she said to him, on page 28, you um, said, after you quoted Matthew 10, 37 to 39, who is this egomaniac speaking these words? Would you elaborate on that? Referring to Jesus. Now let me read you those words and you will see that his statement is not surprising. We read it and we just don't hear it the way it sounds to people who aren't religiously enculturated. All right, here's what Jesus said in Matthew 10, 37. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take up his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. I mean, what else would a person say? That's an egomaniac talking. Love me more than your mom. Love me more than your family. Love me more than your work. Love me. Value me. You're not worthy of me. Unless, unless, unless. Me, 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 me. He answered like this. <clears throat> this is a direct quote. Well, it just struck me as who is this person speaking 2,000 years ago, a complete historical stranger, saying that we should love him, who are incapable of emotionally loving, more so than we should love his own father, our own fathers or sons. It just seemed like an incredibly ego maniacal kind of claim to make. So whether it's the father on the cross magnifying his own righteousness or whether it's the son of God on his way to the cross magnifying his own superior worth, it's a good question. Is that love? Me! Me, me, me. Is that love? Jesus is not an egomaniac, but the question is, why not? Why not? And here's the simple answer that I've tried to give all these years in every book I've written and every sermon I've preached. <laughs> Let's have this one thing to say, basically. So I, I could just leave tonight and, and somebody else could speak tomorrow. <laughs> this is love because the only eternal happiness for man is a happiness focused on the riches of the glory of God in the face of Christ. The only eternal happiness for man, eternal and full happiness of man, 
is a happiness focused on the glory of God in the face of Christ. Therefore, in order for God to take me there to my fullest and eternal happiness, he must uphold and preserve what will make me happy, namely his glory. That's it. 